Hello fellow delegates of New Jersey. We have gathered here today to make a decision on the biggest question we have faced today as a whole nation. The reason we are gathered here today centers on the topic of a constitution to govern the country. I will be giving my reasons why it is imperative that we move swiftly to ratify this constitution in order to restore order and improve the situations that we face today. The ratification of this constitution has continuously proven to be needed as demonstrated by Shays' Rebellion and the Articles of Confederation failing. After the Articles of Confederation failed, Alexander Hamilton stated in Federalist No. 1 that we experienced the inefficiency of subsisting federal government. The Articles gave the states too much power as the national government can no longer tax, raise an army, or regulate interstate commerce. With Congress not having a strong executive branch and no effective national courts, it led to other nations not taking us seriously and illegal conflict between states. This lack of power eventually led us to Shays Rebellion. Shays Rebellion proved to us all that the federal government cannot promote the general welfare and that the states were given too much freedom. This governing document can also help us take steps in towards eliminating our national debt and balancing the power of different areas of our government. Our national debt problem can be solved through giving our author authorities power to tax our citizens, which in turn can lead to improvement in our finances and improvement of our public resources. However, it is important to give our people the ability to speak up on the state of our economy. Having a lack of representation led us into the Revolutionary War. This constitution can also work to balance. For example, our president will be able to veto laws. With this being said, courts will be able to shoot down the president if he proposes something that goes against this new, doc new document. This ability to veto laws protected the principles of a de democratic republic. This, pr this principle operates at the consent of people that also believe one branch of government should not be allowed to have all the power. With the separation and balance of power, this will help maintain and keep order in our nation. Some may argue that implementing this constitution will take away all of our freedoms and that the federal government will have unlimited power. However, this is disproven by the idea of separation of powers and checks and balances. S separation of powers being implemented in the government will protect against all anti-federalist concerns and all states will keep their rights and powers. The system of checks and balances will allow each branch of government to check on each other while still retaining their own powers. This will inevitably prevent a tyranny and an overpowering government. Lastly, but most importantly, the dire need for a solution to the factions that we face. Just as stated in Madison No. 10, the causes of factions cannot be removed and that, and that relief is only to be sought in the meanings of controlling its effects. We are told controlling the effects, as demonstrated in this document by James Madison, will be more pr the more practical options. However, trying to remove them has proved impossible because it is unrealistic to try and give everyone the same opinion, and according to Madison, destroying liberty is much worse than the faction itself. The other option of controlling the effects is much more realistic. With separation of powers, a representative democracy, and federalism, tyranny of the majority is easily avoidable.